Good morning, everybody. My name is Brandon, and this is my channel, B Man IT. So, I figured I'd do something a little different today and just give a, a summary of some of the beekeeping news that I'm coming across quite a bit out there. As you can see here on Reddit, um, there's all kinds of links and stuff about this first ever vaccine for American fowl brood, and it is only for American fowl brood now. I was looking into this and trying to understand it a bit better and there's actually a really good um, audio podcast here on Beekeeping Today podcast with Dr. Keith Delaplane. He's a entomologist down at the University of Georgia. He's kind of one of my childhood heroes back in the 90s when I was just getting started in beekeeping. Um, he had his own, he was probably one of the first people to have an actual video series on how to do beekeeping. And uh, I watched that those videos like a million times. But, um, yeah, so he has a, right here I can put a link in the description for you if you want to listen to it. It's pretty good to listen to. Basically, in a nutshell, is that there's a company that's come out with a, um, a way of you know, putting it, putting the vaccine into a sugar candy and you feed that to the queen and then the queen um, is able to uh, somehow make her offspring resistant and to some degree it's you know any bees that feed on the, this vaccine can also spread it to the other members of the colony but it's, it seems to work best when you uh, get the queen involved with being able to spread those antibodies or whatever but like I said, it's only work, works for American fowl brood. It's not in production yet, but I guess they're getting to that point. But um, but yeah, I'd really suggest going and listening to this podcast. And uh, you yeah, know, just hear what Dr. Keith Delplane has to say about it. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, my two cents is is yes American and European fowl brood are a problem out there but it just doesn't seem to be that big of a problem it seems to be you know if you have good bees good nutrition and everything as Cayman Reynolds usually says um, typically you don't have to worry about uh, all the viruses and everything um, but it sounds like the company that's designing this they really want to go after those viruses that the mites have and that's what I'm all about is getting rid of those mite borne viruses along with the row mites so there's that in the news um, for beekeeping another thing um, I have no idea about this title here it's kind of student traumatized by hive cleansing invents anti row shield I uh, read over this and the title didn't really make much sense with the uh, article, but keywords here is you have this three printed Midas side hive entrance and it has thymol. So basically, the idea is the bees walk in, they brush up, walking through this modified entrance. Um, they brush up against the uh, the thymol that's in it, and then the thymol essentially is supposed to kill the mites as the bees are coming and going. Yeah, it's a cool idea. I wonder how well it works. It's, they call it Hive Guard, and there's a link on here. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can show you the picture of it. Yeah, here it is right here. So that's what it looks like. So currently they're sold out. I wouldn't mind buying one, just to, buying a few just to give it a try. But I guess this is something to keep an eye on and to test out for yourself to see if it's uh, any good. It's cool to have innovative new products like this on the market and to see how well it, do how well it does with them. Treating for varroa mites, being that that's the number one enemy. But for the most part in the news, um, you know, I get a lot of my news from Reddit has a beekeeping page. 
and right now this time of year you have a lot of new beekeepers on here asking about all the you know what they do wrong with their hives why their hives collapse and usually it's two things it's either the mites which got the numbers down too much or it's the uh, you know just not having enough food so anyways that's what I have in the bee news today and uh, feel free to like subscribe and all that good stuff uh, you all have a good one